So hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going to talk about ETMF, which is one of the most important system or application in clinical trial document management. And it is also a regulatory requirement without which your molecule can get accepted or rejected. So let's learn about what exactly this particular system is. So before looking into this particular application, we must know about it. So what exactly is ETMF? So ETMF is an electronic version of electronic trial master file and all the documents generated are stored electronically or in a digital format. This particular TMF or trial master file con contains a list of all essential documents which are required for regulatory and GCP compliance. So if you have read ICA GCP part 8, you would see the documents required before, during and after the trial. So all these documents collectively form all the essential documents and when these documents are stored electronically, then it leads to generation or requirement of a platform which is made available through ETMF. Next would be that this particular system or application is a way of digitally capturing managing, sharing and storing of all the essential document that are generated in clinical trial. So you not only get to store but you get to capture also this document, you get to share also this document and store this document according to regulatory requirements. And every organization which is involved in regulated clinical trial, it is mandatory for them to have this particular system or application in the form of ATMF and it is also mandated in global GCP guidelines. So it is very critical for you to manage this document of clinical trial and it is done through ETMF systems. Now let us see what are the advantages of this ETMF system. First and foremost, does this particular system arranges your all your documentation in an organized manner Okay, so there is a folder based organization system which leads to easier navigation of the documents. So these documents are kept in a particular folder format and this particular folder format is based on a reference model which is called as DIA reference model version 3.2. Whereas in this particular reference model it is accepted by the regulatory authority the FDA where the documents are properly stored in a hierarchical format which is easy to navigate. and this particular document structure can also be used to store document which are country specific as well as site specific. So you can customize this particular system and this particular platform would also lead to electronic platform share in which the electronic document exchange is available and EISF portal which is e-electronic study file portal which leads to easy documentation that is upload of this particular document in that application as well as you can easily attach the document stored via email. And once you have documents stored, it is very important to track as well as check the quality of the documentation. So all this documentation generates huge amount of metadata. So it handles this metadata in the form of document management as well as it also keeps track of all the document which are about to expire for example the calibration certificates or the insurance policy so it again gives you alert if the documentation is set to expire and it clearly demonstrates the quality workflow as well as this particular etmf platform can be integrated with other systems such as ctms system the clinical trial management system and you can store and archive this document also easily and you can download this document in the form of zip file which can reduce the size of this document considerably and can have cross access platform so these all are the advantages of ETMF and you can see it leads to good organization based on a good reference model, customizations, easier cross platform sharing, the tracking of the document gets easier as well as the integration. Next would be that this particular document system that is ETMF needs to be in compliance with 21 CFR part 11 which is a US FDA requirement okay so according to that it needs to have four critical criteria first thing is that this system needs to have an audit trail 
when i say audit trail it means that whatever document which is stored it clearly needs to show that changes made in the system it needs to show who made these changes when it was made what were the elder document the earlier document what were the new documents involved so it forms an audit trail it becomes very easy and regulatory compliance when there is an audit uh, done by the regulatory authority and it gives you a clear picture that what changes were made so that there is no tampering even possible next is the archival policy okay so these particular etmf systems uh, archive the data okay and they do not delete the data this data can easily be restored and tracked and based on historic audit processes as well as this archival system adds a layer of protection to all the error or malicious attempt to remove the data so you cannot tamper or uh, change the data next is that this particular system also needs to have electronic signature so etmf supports the electronic signature and it clearly highlights the steps in the workflow where the data integrity and the accountability is checked so that it authorizes who did what activity and this electronic or digital signature also uh, takes in various format depending upon the document you have such as pdf uh, files are majoritily used so there you find the electronic signature as well as the control over this particular system is another requirement as per 21 cfr part 11 so this particular system and the user authorization and authentication are very uh, in control they also have regular password changes they also have this uh, the login session expire after an idle session and when the session or the system is not actively used by the user it even locks the system so you can find this e that uh, according to 21 cfr part 11 that is code of federal regulation part 11 so this atmf system should have these four critical components so which makes all the essential documents in the clinical trial much more secure to make your future secure you should look at this particular course for advanced certification in clinical research so our friends at clinical aim research conduct this particular course and this teaches all about clinical research they are doing fantastic job and if you are interested in learning about clinical research please go and call them and you can have an access to a very good career in form of clinical research so give them a call so finally i hope uh, you like this particular video so please share it with your friends who might find this very helpful and useful please make sure that you subscribe to our channels and uh, let us know in the comment section below what you liked and what you would expect us to do in future and we hope that we try to bring you the quality content that you deserve and keep you updated in all formats of clinical research. So thank you for watching this video.